Welcome to the Now, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm John Reisinger. Thinking about leaving bad comments on Steam about a game that you hate? All the time. Yeah, well, you better watch out because one developer is tired of your shit and they're fighting back. Truly the hero we deserve. This developer isn't just fighting back across the internet with angry comments, however. No. They're taking the battle to court and have just filed a lawsuit against 100 gamers on Steam over negative comments made about their company. Yeah, so you gotta watch out about those comments now, apparently. Uh, this is, of course, a total head scratcher, although once you learn the identity of the developer in question, it should not be too shocking. The Sue Happy Game Company is none other than Digital Homicide. Yes, that's the same duo that caused a stir by suing game critic Jim Sterling. I'm sorry, Jim fucking Sterling's son. Uh, earlier this year for saying bad things about their games. The new lawsuit against gamers was reported on by YouTuber Sid Alpha, who got wind of the lawsuit from a comment someone left on one of his videos. He was also kind enough to provide the actual documents via Google Drive, so people like us could laugh at the hilarity. Which we've been doing all morning. This is stupid. Uh, filed in a district Court of Arizona, the latest lawsuit filed by Digital Homicide co-founders, the Romine brothers, is a personal injury lawsuit titled Romine versus Unknown Party. <laughs> That's the internet. The internet is the, the unknown, unknown party. party yeah. Uh, it's asking for $18 million in damages, according to website MMO Fallout, who's been following the saga of Digital Homicide's scorched earth antics for the last year or so. Best part of the lawsuit is that since the Romines don't know the names of any of the defendants, they list out their Steam names in official court documents. So we're not gonna go over all the names listed, but- Burner 420 Extreme's <laughs> gotta be on there. Pretty much. It's, it, there's something really delightful about the fact that all these documents are calling out individuals like Demon Sword, Mucho Jones, j 330 hashtag Hey is back, Toon Blocks, Carl Pilsington, you name it. You can just like, all the fake names that the internet can come up with. How many names involving vape? I wanna know. I gotta know how many vape names are in a court document right Hopefully now. Hopefully not a lot. For some reason, Romine didn't feel like listing out anything past the first dozen names, adding Jane John Doe's 12 through 100. Uh, what? Yeah, they just listed them out as like numbers Jane and now. John Doe's 12 through 100. And so they're... there's like a Jane Doe 47. They couldn't even be bothered listing out all the people they're suing. <laughs> That's stupid. Do the work, bro. If you're gonna do this lawsuit, list them all out. No, I think that was very thorough. They counted them. <laughs> uh, the attached documents include a number of derogatory comments from the named Steam users. No kidding. <laughs> it seems the big sticking point that Digital Homicide is concerned about in particular, so concerned about, they're taking it to court, is the accusation from multiple users that they are simply reskinning the same couple of games and then re-releasing them. We're not going to comment on whether or not that's what they're actually doing, but a quick glance well, at the- Do we want to be Jane Doe, no, like, one, 101? I'm okay with being petty. <laughs> uh, but a quick glance at their game library shows that they do release a lot of games rather close together, with many appearing quite similar. They release three separate games in the month of April, that's three in one month, uh, for instance, and two of them are 2D space shooters. Just one of them is styled like Space Invaders and one is a side scroller. So it's like they took a game and then like rotated it 90 degrees. Just, yeah. And they also got a bunch of their games pegged by Steam's Greenlight program for doing essentially the same thing a few months ago. In total, 22 games that they were doing got hit with an incompatible tag by Steam. 11 of them were released on the same day. <laughs> Seems a little excessive. Uh, Reskinning the same games is any developer's prerogative, but the thing that posters named in the lawsuit are accusing Digital Homicide of goes a little bit further. Some of these new games come with Steam trading cards, which is enough for some collectors out there to make cheap purchases so they can keep the cards or sell them on Steam's marketplace. I mean, I, I get it. Cards are kind of fun. But do you, who buys a game just for the cards? Idiots. Uh, any developer who created Steam cards gets a cut of the transactions whenever the cards are sold, in addition to the purchase of the game, obviously. So these commenters are basically accusing Digital Homicide of not only spamming Steam with multiple cheap games to make a quick buck, but also an attempt to make money by getting as many Steam cards available as possible in the market and getting those in the marketplace where then they're sold and they're worth pennies, guys. Pennies! Sounds like a weird ass business model. Yeah. 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 A weird ass thing for commerce to care about and a weird ass thing for a developer to bring to light by suing somebody. Don't, you don't need to bring this to light. Be hush just, hush about just it. Just please leave this one under the rug. Keep your shame to yourself. 
<laughs> and if you're worried that the Romine's totally justified lawsuit is gonna slip through the cracks on a petty legal technicality like not knowing the names of their defendants, <laughs> well, the Romine's have already thought of that one because they've also officially subpoenaed Valve to try to get the identities, the identities of the hundred or so users. And their identities as their well. Their identities as well? Yeah. So many, so many things. Uh, <laughs> getting Valve involved in a lawsuit against gamers when you've already had some shady business practices. Um, yeah, that's that's probably gonna work out really well for you, bro. Yeah. The, keep, the, keep at it. The last thing that they probably need is Valve taking a closer look at that. Yeah. This whole thing is next level batshit bonkers, but Again, it's not too surprising if you're familiar with Digital Homicide from their previous works, like the time they sued YouTube critic Jim Sterling for more than $10 million in damages. Can I that was a, I mean, that was a good time as well. Just in in terms of like the head scratching, how is this? How do we live in this world? Head scratching. It's entertaining. Yeah, people say mean things. Happens, bro. Uh, that lawsuit was filed by the Romines back in March, alleging that Sterling committed assault libel and slander against their company. Most of that was due to a series of videos traded between Sterling and Digital Homicide. Assault, wow. Yes, they got assaulted, verbally assaulted. Ow, that hurts. Sterling lampooned one of their games, Slaughtering Grounds, which prompted Digital Homicide to do a review of his review. Yeah, that makes sense. And then he did a review of their review of his review, and then they DMCA'd his video. Look, even the TLDR of this whole saga is, is just, it's, nothing makes sense. N nothing makes sense. Uh, on the Jim Sterling front, not much has happened since they first filed their lawsuit against him because these things, well, I mean, it's a court, they tend to take a lot of time. He's filed a motion to dismiss, they've replied to his motion to dismiss, and the cycle of crazy continues. Did they film a video reviewing his dismissal and then he did a review of their review of his? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all in the court documents. <laughs> It's all, it's all vlogging. Their entire court case will be vlogging. Okay, so we've seen game devs going after bad comments before, but in the past, that's only been when those bad comments come down, come with a platform like a giant YouTube audience. Right, and it's not even unprecedented for game developers to go after players either, but usually it's because the gamer has created some kind of hack or tool that's ruining the game's multiplayer, like we've seen with uh, Paragon and League of Legends just in the last few months, for instance. But going after fans in court for making bad comments about your studio and your games, yeah. That's that's actually unprecedented and probably not something that's going to keep their games on Steam for very long, especially now that Valve is going to be dragged into the process. Yeah, since the subpoena has been approved, Valve does have to respond to it in at least some official capacity. In all likelihood, they'll challenge it and they might even ask for their legal fees to be covered because they can probably get away with that because this is crazy. Valve's gotta have good lawyers. I mean, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but I'd say that this is crazy. Yeah. As for whether or not the suit will go anywhere, we doubt it will be able to to without the actual identities of these gamers. And even Just then, like sue random person, be like you, yeah, you. I'm suing you. It's What's like, your name? It's like I'm suing a What's ghost. Um, and even then, it seems like more of a scare tactic to silence criticism in general on Steam. At some point, you've got to wonder if these guys will ever learn their lesson and simply let these kinds of things go, or maybe just make good games. I kind of hope they don't because every time they pop up, it's just like a little gift of weird. Kind of makes you feel good. There's like people that are stupider than you in the world. Well, it makes everything else feel so normal by comparison. Yeah. By now, they've probably hurt their own business a whole lot more with these kind of tactics than any one bad comment could have caused on its own. But sadly, there is a lesson that some smaller developers seem to have a hard time learning. Besides, why spend time fixing your video games when you can make millions from ridiculous lawsuits? Well, I mean, you have to win the lawsuits to make the millions. Yeah, they're, they might be the first people to do something stupid to, and then suing people for money instead of actually doing real work. Oh wait, they're no, people have been doing that for no, forever. No, forever, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think of Digital Homicide's latest legal antics this time against the gamers themselves and yeah. not just Jim Sterling? but a hundred of them. Let us know in the comments. For future updates on insane developers going after Steam users, like this video, and why not just subscribe to the No? Because we cover that stuff all the time. I feel like, I almost feel like we need to do an official handoff now, like Jim Sterling, it's all you. <laughs> you have you have the floor, Jim. Is there is there any way to like make it? Suicide. Hey! Oh, no, that one adding digital suicide. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you literally write this thing.